So XRP is one of those coins you either love or hate. There's really no in between. However, you can approach XRP a couple different ways. The first way would be like most of us in the XRP army, and we like to huddle this coin to the max. On the flip side, you could try day trading and swing trading it for quicker profits. Of course, XRP being a large cap crypto that has yet to break its old all time highs might not be the best for trading purposes, but if you follow the news on XRP regularly, you could pay attention to the quick pumps and take advantage of them for quicker gains. With all that said, I recommend you keep two separate bags of XRP, one of them being for the long term and then a side bag for trading purposes. Now, one of the best places to trade XRP in the daily or weekly would be Uphold. Now, I've got my account pulled up here and I've kept 30K coins. You know, even though I'm holding over 200K now on some separate wallets, you know, I just love this coin and I just can't stop buying it. And what's cool about Uphold is that they let you keep separate accounts for your XRP. So technically on here, you could have, you know, two different wallets um, of XRP and one could be for the long term that you have a trading wallet. Now, the fees on Uphold are also relatively low. And if you're currently in the United States, this is literally one of the few places that allows you to buy XRP right now. And, you know, I do like Uphold because they support the XRP army even since the start of the SEC case, you know, with XRP. Of course, if you guys wanted to learn more or get started on Uphold, we'll have some bonus and resource links in the description. Okay, next I'd like to pull up the price of XRP and talk about some predictions on this coin going in the next 12 to 24 months, and then also some other coins I would recommend as well. But, you know, currently XRP has been sitting under a dollar for quite some time. I think it's been over a year now. Uh, All-time high is still in the $3.80, somewhere around there, depending. But, you know, I think that, and I've said this before, the risk to reward on XRP is just so good because if you look at the price on it right now, how much lower could it go? You know, what, 20, 25 cents? I, I really don't see it happening. I guess 30 cents is possible for sure. Um, but the upside, you know, how high could this thing really go? You know, could it get to a dollar easily? Could it get to $2 easily? Could it get to $3 easily? So, you know, the multiple return you can get on XRP right now, just like looking at it, um, and you have to look at it like that. You know, the risk to reward factor is just so good. You also have to consider the fact that XRP has been around for a long time. Um, you know, they've been in the top 10 for many years. Uh, you know, I don't see them going anywhere. And honestly, the fact that they partnered with so many banks, I mean, ugh. Even if you don't like XRP in general, it just makes sense to have some in your portfolio. Okay, next, like I said, I wanted to go over some other coins I would recommend checking out right now because the prices on them are really good. So let's take a look at those. I'm going to start things off here with uh, Decentraland. Now, I'm really big in the gaming metaverse, uh, you know, cryptos. I think that they're going to see massive growth in the next couple of years um, because, if you really look at it, Facebook, you know, renamed its company to Meta. Uh, they believe it's going to be the future. I don't know if you guys have checked out any of those kind of like VR headsets. They are amazing. Um, I would definitely recommend getting the MetaQuest 2, I believe it's called. <clears throat> it's like $500 for the 128 gig. I don't want to go off topic here, but it's incredible. And um, yeah, I just think, uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, Decentraland, basically, uh, you know, they've got a marketplace where they sell uh, buy, where you can buy and sell virtual real estate. They've got virtual goods and they're also getting in the online casino space. Now, one of the big bummers with Decentraland is that, you know, the price has obviously gone down on it. All time high in this coin was somewhere around five bucks. And now we're back under a dollar. Um, I think that Decentraland could be anywhere from a 50 billion, 100 billion market cap crypto in the future. So it's kind of one of those coins that you could swing trade and obviously you could swing trade all cryptos, but I believe that, you know, you should just buy this um, and forget about it. And I think averaging into it really at this price, I mean, anything under a dollar is just big. If you check out uh, all of the metaverse cryptos, you can check them out. Check them out on coin market cap, like the category of them. It's still, you know, in the top five. It was leading it at one point. I don't know if it still is, but um, it's definitely one I would uh, take a look at. Okay, next up, we've got the Engine coin. So I did want to stay in the metaverse gaming space. You know, I love Engine. I've got around 30,000-ish coins of it. And, you know, I'm upside down on my position. The all-time high on Engine was around close to four bucks, something like that. And Engine's been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, 2009 is when the company started and, you know, they're still around. They started off as a gaming community. They've turned into an NFT marketplace. They started a $100 million NFT fund recently. And they've got a lot of cash on hand. You know, when you put your money into a crypto project, 
Um, rarely are they extremely, you know, well funded. An engine is, and that's why I believe they're going to do really well. Uh, they've been growing their partnerships. They've already got some really good partnerships, and um, you know, they've got plenty of money. I'd actually recommend checking out the NFT marketplace for them. Uh, currently, they've got thousands upon thousands of items for sale. They've got an app in both the app and Play Store you can check out where you could, you know, buy and sell things. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, okay. On to the next one here, guys. We're going to take a look at Solana. I like Solana, uh, because it's basically an alternative to Ethereum. So if you don't own a lot of Ethereum, then, you know, Sol is one you could check out. Uh, basically it's a software based cryptocurrency. Experts are predicting this coin could go as high as a thousand dollars in under the next like five or six years, which is crazy. I mean, the return could be massive on this one. It's already in the top 10, so it is a large cap crypto. You got to keep that in mind. But uh, if you don't own Ethereum or if you don't own any like software based cryptocurrencies like Polkadot's another one, then yeah, I would throw some Solana in the mix. I think it's uh, the one that's going to do extremely well in the next couple of years. We'll just say like two to three years. Okay, um, and then we've got XLM, guys. Uh, XLM has you know a high correlation with XRP. They typically move together when they go up or down. And, you know, XLM, it is a banker's coin, but it's also for individual users. The all-time high on this coin was around 90 cents. Uh, a lot of people out there, when they buy XRP, typically they also own XLM. It's usually like an 80-20 split. Um, you know, I own a decent amount of XLM. It's nothing crazy, but it wouldn't shock me if this coin went up to like three bucks at one point, especially, you know, when XRP breaks out, you're going to see XLM also go up with it. Um, and $3 would be the, the target I would be going for. If you, you know, get into this coin long term. I think that's where it's going to go. And then once it gets to three bucks, I don't really know where it could go, but it's obviously, you know, still under 50 cents. So, Okay, and uh, the last one here is another uh, Metaverse coin, which is going to be the Sandbox. Now, I like the Sandbox. They're probably the most heavily advertised, uh, you know, Metaverse gaming coin I've seen online. I've seen ads running on YouTube. I've seen all kinds of like Google ads for them uh, just on websites. And uh, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, you know, the price on this obviously has gone down as well with Bitcoin, you know, bringing the market down. But this could be a good time to, you know, get one of these. I just really believe, guys, you know, the, the metaverse cryptos are going to do really well in the next couple of years. And it's <clears throat> it's just <laughs> there's so much money there that's going to be made. So I would uh, definitely take a look at some of these. OK, to kind of bring it all home for you guys, uh, as far as buying XRP uphold right now is where I would do it, especially if you're in the United States. Clearly, you know, I'm comfortable with having around 30,000 coins on here. I'm not worried about it at all. So uh, I'm just kind of like leaving it on the exchange here. And yeah, I mean, you got to be stacking and packing some XRP. I think the minimum you should own of this right now would be 10,000 coins. If you can't afford that, you know, go with 5,000. But anything under, you know, a buck on this is is just a really good buy. I mean, especially long term. Um, and yeah, I mean, the more you can buy, the better. Obviously not financial advice. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next crypto video.